Good day, everybody. The camera started on its own, but that's okay. We'll record a video anyway. Uh, on my way to the park, it's Friday. Uh, what is it, July 19th? Taking the puppies to the park because it's a lovely day and I just finished work. The wife's left me alone for a week. She's, uh, she's off uh, cavorting around with her high school buddies. Her and a bunch of girlfriends are out going to like wineries and cideries and whatever you want to call them. And uh, just having a good old time at a cottage. So lucky her, but I'm here watching after my little puppers. And we're going to head to the park. But today I want to talk about real quick uh, what everybody else is talking about. The assassination, assassination attempt on former President Donald J. Trump. Uh, I touched on it briefly last Saturday, uh, but I didn't have a lot of details. Uh, it's clear to me now that uh, this was not a lone gunman. Absolutely not. There is too much uh, pointing to uh, the notion that there was a second gunman probably on the water tower. There's actually footage, you can see there's somebody on top of that water tower. Um, and uh, and, I, and I think this kid, this Crooks kid, I think he's a patsy. Here's the thing, uh, he appeared in a BlackRock commercial. His parents are both counselors, meaning psychological, you know, mental health professionals, right? You going straight? Yeah, you are, okay. Glad I didn't try and turn. Um, Mental health professionals. I, I have a feeling the MK altered the kid. MK altered the kid to put him in the place that he needed to be, to give themselves a story um, for when the attack happened, when the assassination attempt happened, and they took him out. There's just too much going on with regards to the events of, uh, of Saturday in Butler, Pennsylvania, that Nothing, nobody, no group or single individual can be that grossly incompetent to allow what happened to happen. Um, there was clearly a conspiracy to assassinate Trump. Uh, and this, this crooks kid, he was just the patsy. He was just the Lee Harvey Oswald they were going to blame on. He was just the guy that they were going to put in the right place at the right time and take him out. And here's the thing. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't even know what he was doing there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, he wasn't put there under the auspices of you're going to be up there to protect Donald Trump. Right? Put him up there with a gun. Yeah, anyway, no, so if you hadn't heard all the details yet, so apparently this kid shows up three hours before the event with a range finder and they think well that's a little suspicious but you know maybe he just wants to see how you know he wants to you know like binoculars kind of thing right because that's what a range finder you can use that for because you know they magnify a little bit uh so they let him in and he's wandering around this building that's outside the secure zone looking all suspicious he manages to go to get a a ladder from a Home Depot walk through the woods to the building that he eventually ended up being upon being on nobody stops him nobody says that looks a little peculiar a little kid you know this this 20 year old uh, person oh and he's trans by the way apparently there's photo uh, released of him with long hair and a little neck choker apparently he's trans but you wouldn't know that because the FBI got a hold of his phone and scrubbed it doesn't have any social media. I wouldn't be surprised if his social media was scrubbed before the event. Apparently there was some, there was some details he put on uh, the Steam forums or whatever, saying, uh, you know, something about Saturday, you know, I will, whatever, I'll become famous or something like that, keep an eye out or something like that. Something, words to that effect, basically. Watch out Saturday, because I'm going to come out, basically. I'm going to become famous, so to speak. Anyway, sorry for the glare here, folks. This is not the best position for this phone, but whatever. Um, yeah, it just it strikes me as odd. Now, apparently, uh, the FBI, uh, 
he was actually on top of the building that the FBI were running a, an operation out of. Like the FBI was supposed to be there for some reason. I don't know. There's also there's also footage showing a woman who are, who is in the stands behind Donald Trump, who uh, basically is slow to react or smirks when the first shots go off, and she only ducks slightly and then comes right back up with a smirk on her face and is capturing the whole thing on the phone. Apparently, she's a deputy director of the FBI. Uh, yeah, there's no convincing me now that this was all just a all just incompetence you know they say well don't uh, don't assign malice where incompetence would explain it well unfortunately the incompetence does not explain all of this right if there was a delay if there was a delay of you know a couple of seconds maybe I'd say okay that's incompetence uh, but the fact of the matter is Trump's normal duty uh, team uh, secret service detail uh, they were all on vacation and then some that would normally be in his detail were pulled away and sent to an event in Pennsylvania with uh, Jill Biden uh, so so there were people there who didn't know the uh, the operating parameters of the detail the normal operating procedures uh, there's that you know now famous footage of that uh, slightly frumpy, incompetent woman, uh, Secret Service agent who couldn't even get her her uh, sidearm reholstered. Uh, and, and so she, at some point she just gave up and said, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep holding it. Uh, none of the people who, who like, with the exception of like one, one or two guys, none of the people who were protecting Donald Trump as his personal detail were big enough to shield him. Like this, this stinks of conspiracy, and the fact that uh, uh, Mayorkas has come out and told Cheadle not to speak to the press, not to say anything. Now she made the she made the stupid mistake of speaking to somebody on ABC News, I believe, saying, "Well, yeah, the reason we didn't have anybody uh, up on that roof uh, was because it was sloped. It was sloped, and it would be dangerous." Yeah. Okay. Never mind that you had snipers or, or you know long distance shooters protecting the president on a roof right near him that was more uh, steeply sloped. No problem with those guys being there. Sure didn't seem to have a problem lying on there. The only danger he had was from a bullet. You had a cop who, uh, who like a local PD, I believe, who went up on the roof to check things out. The uh, This crook's kid points his gun at him and the cop Rather than taking cover and, you know, engaging, he backed down the ladder. Apparently he fell down the ladder. So I guess he was taken aback by it and he just sort of fell down the ladder. Whatever. Point is, I think it was conspiracy mixed with incompetence. And thankfully, incompetence probably saved Donald J. Trump's life. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, comparator... Uh, died but uh, it, here's the thing uh, what's come out is this this cop who interrupted this crooks fellow if you believe that crooks is the one who pulled the trigger this cop who interrupted crook this crooks fellow uh, delayed the shooter by a few seconds and by delaying the shooter a few seconds that gave Trump just enough time to turn his head slightly and back it up a bit so he could look at the chart and by doing that, the bullet grazed his ear instead of going through his eye socket. So, so a little bit of incompetence, a little bit of divine intervention, maybe, uh, saved the former president's life. And uh, <clears throat> I'm glad of that. So, anyway, here we are. We're just about to go to the park. Trinity's going to start barking any second now. Anyway, it's just it all strikes me as... Uh, is almost uh, surreal, you know what I mean? Like, uh, and I'm gonna get into this a little bit more uh, in tomorrow night's ammunition, ammunition 56 tomorrow night with the uh, incongruous Irving twin. I don't know, I like adjectives that start with an I for Irving. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do ammunition tomorrow night at 10 on this channel. I hope you'll all make it. We'll talk at length about the events of last Saturday. Plus what else is going on in the U.S. and in the world. 
you know, the RNC, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm sure we'll come up with some uh, news about Israel. There's uh, something that happened in Tel Aviv the other day. So yeah, it, it should be a, a good rip roaring, a good time tomorrow night. So join us tomorrow night at 10 on this channel for Ammunition 56. Folks, that's about all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna stop it now because if I don't, all you're gonna hear is Trinity barking. So y'all take care, have yourselves a wonderful weekend, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, bye-bye.